In today's video, we're going to look at my Tarot and Oracle collection and see where it is today because I've been decluttering and I've been changing things. Now, I've moved, so I'm not keeping my Tarot collection in a cupboard at the moment. I'm keeping it underneath the table. I'm having a nice, I've just come back from a big beach walk. If you follow me on threads, you will see every day I post my waves, I call it. This is what I'm drinking. It is ginger and water tea. I'm still trying to find the perfect coffee shop on my walk. Okay, so if you follow me live, this is where I'm currently doing my live reading. So I set the camera up here. And this is actually my meditation space, even though I haven't had time to meditate as yet. But isn't it just beautiful? These are two, two new... Um, items that have just come into my, I don't want to say collection, I don't want to freaking collect, into my home, into my space. So they're beautiful, aren't they? And they're obviously mine, so I wear those. So let's, and I do not collect crystals anymore, okay? I really feel like we are over-consuming this and I'm sorry I bought them all, you know, like... I don't feel like we should be digging up the earth for these. I just don't. I feel like it's caused an unnecessary addiction that I'm seeing with people. So what I try and do is I try and buy uh, a necklace piece if I see one and I give myself only one a year. Now, last year I didn't buy anything. So we're getting there. We're getting there. And this is my crystal ball that I hope to work with. So let me move around. So here you see two storage boxes. Now, I'm, to be honest... I don't want these crystals. I, I just feel like it's such a waste, even though I just feel like you just need a clear quartz. Oh, I should show you this deck, shouldn't I? This is a beautiful deck that I bought. I wouldn't mind replicating a deck such as this. This is affirmation deck. So we've got, you might have seen me pull out these sometimes. I am abundant. I am peace. And this one is a very common deck, just words, efficiency. And in this, these two little boxes, you will see some crystals. I've got these actually out. These are the ones that I'm meditating with. So I've got these out and the clear quartz out. So I've segregated those. That's what I'd be using for meditation. And these crystals are part of a collection, but I would love to just have one rose quartz. One amethyst you know that's that's that was my that's my goal so if you are collecting don't get carried away think of the earth so moving on now all right so under this side of the table i didn't think i would love these decks so it's funny how working with decks working at your collection i love them i love that they're small you know, it's funny, when I first started watching people collect tarot, I'm like, oh my God, what do you mean you only want 30 decks? I can really understand that now because the more I'm utilizing, the more I'm utilizing, the more I'm utilizing, the more I'm working out what I like, what I like, what I like, what I don't like and what vibes with me. So I've put these here. This is new to my collection. This was actually gifted to me from my husband's auntie. Her daughter passed away. So she had this the right away tarot by us games this is an artist that i bought from etsy this is one from kickstarter you would have seen me utilize this a lot and this is one that's just been new to my collection as well the wandering star i had the kickstarter i got rid of it because i want to use my decks i haven't used this much so we'll see what this year brings now the Star Tarot is new to my collection, okay? It's an oldie. It's an oldie, but, you know, it, who who prints this off? It's not Llewellyn, is it? No, it's an oldie. So it'll be interesting to see where I go with this. The complete tarot collection was a gift. And then I've got this one. Now, this one I loved. It actually really brought my readings into accuracy using a pip deck. Now, I mistakenly also bought this deck, the Modern Tarot Reader. I'm actually trying to sell this at the moment. It's actually the same. They're both the same. How rude to have it 
you know, obviously, I don't know what came first, the chicken or the egg. But, yeah, so I'm trying to get sell that one. I've got a pile over there. Now, the line strider is quite old, but this here really made me realise I love Llewellyn Dex because of the work that they put into their guidebooks. I feel the more that I read guidebooks for each deck, the more I'm adding an additional layer of the tarot, additional layer of the tarot, additional layer of the tarot. So I've done a review of this one. And then we've got the Sufi Tarot. Haven't used that much. So I'm really, what I've learned with my practice is I'm really sitting with the deck. I'm not jumping from one to the next, to the next, to the next. I'm sitting with one and then I'm moving on. So all last month I worked with um, the Sweet Forages Tarot. Currently, I'm working with the Green Witch Tarot. Don't know whether I'll keep it just yet, but I'm working with that. So I hope to work with the Sufi Tarot. We've got the Angel Radley Valentine. We've got the Radley Valentine Guardian Angel. That's the original one. And then we've got the update. Naughty, naughty. Don't need to do this anymore. The Tarot of the Divine. I was actually going to sell this. This actually, I got this second hand, but I've fallen in love with it. So this is about continual use so we're moving over to the other side of the table now so what do you think so far i think my collection has it's really been decluttered down but there's been a bigger appreciation of decks so i've got the radley valentine angel wisdom archangel power fairy tarot the gentle thrills i was going to get rid of that until i actually cut away the borders so I, i've what i've realized is going through my tarot decks and use i like slimmer decks these are all the Chris Arn decks, plus I have her affirmation deck. So you would have seen these. This was really popular. I like to go back and utilize those. But as I said, I'm working with one deck, moving on, working with one deck. This deck here, the guidebook is fantastic. I was going to get rid of this, but I want to rework with this a bit deeper and a bit longer so I can build up my skills better. The Modern Witch Tarot, the Akashic Tarot, and the Zombie Tarot. This is the one that you would have seen me utilize a lot recently. I love it. It's from the Fool's Perspective. So I've learned a lot about some tarot cards in there. Yet to utilize this one because I've been working with this one so much and I bought them at the same time. And the Crystal Unicorn Tarot got it secondhand for a bargain. So, you know, we're cutting down, don't you think? I think I'm pretty proud of myself. So we're moving on to the next part of the table. Okay, now... Um, Cole Gray, Angel Guide. He just came out with a new deck, the Divine Masters. Very, It's very similar to Keepers of the Light. I've done a review on this on my other channel. I'm a bit disappointed, to be honest. I'm a bit disappointed in Hay House. I'm finding that they're replicating decks too much. And for me, that's not spiritual. You know, it's about being growth. I don't feel like bringing out constantly the same information is healthy. You know, I, I feel like... Mm, I don't know. So I'm sorry. Try not to be negative. Angel Prayers, Raise Your Vibration Oracle, which is more an affirmation deck. Love it. The Angel and Ancestors, The Gateway of Activation. Haven't worked with this much. I would love to. The Keepers of the Light. Then we've got his new one, Divine Masters. Now, as I said, this is, I feel like there's so many cards that are replicated in his other one, Keepers of the Light. I feel like Kyle, should I say it? I feel like he's lost his way a bit. He jumped around a lot. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because you're young and you're jumping around and, you know, you're going from chanting to yoga to meditation to all things spiritual. But I don't know how it sits with me. I don't know. Maybe because I'm thinking more about my own decluttering and not wanting to purposely buy. And I feel like I bought this one because I'm such a big fan of his. Maybe I'm disappointed in myself more than I am about him creating decks so anyway the angel and auras is just a recent one i like it it's nice and bright denise lynn i can't get rid of this one i don't know there's some emotional attachment to this i think it's about how how long i've had it the soul's journey i've loved all of james from prague's deck and as you can see i've got rid of all his decks bar this one and talking to heaven i think i have regifted them and especially the love deck was my favorite now, I've said this before, Cheryl Richardson is one of my favourite authors. Exceptional. And maybe because we're close to the same age. Just wonderful. She used to be on Oprah, actually. 
John Holland, love him as well as a psychic. He's very grounded. He's just a, you can tell the way he talks. He's just a beautiful giving medium. Love this Talking to Heaven deck. Jackie, if you're watching this, I sent her two decks. She just loves them. Uh, I bought, I think, 10 of them. And I've gifted them, sold them, because they were talking about that they won't be in print any longer. And he, they did reprint it, but without Doreen's name on it. Moonology deck. I haven't worked with this much, so I want to go back to that. The Angels is simple. Love this deck. The Energy Oracle cards. Love that deck. The Cryon cards. He's quite big of channeling. You know, have you heard of the Cryon? He was very, very big. Uh, what's his name? Lee Carroll. He has a big YouTube following. Blooming Cat Oracle. That's what I got with the tarot card love the messages do you know what it makes me to the point of man i wish i could draw because i want my own deck so that's this side of the table what are you thinking about my collection so far and then on this side of the table is all oh, doreen virtues so we've got the romance angels the ascended masters that's pretty much what's a lot of it as well is in coal deck but this is quite old you know Fairies, I was gifted to, I was gifted that, Flower Therapy, Angels, Raphael, I was gifted that one just recently with the death of my um, husband's cousin. Life Purpose, Divine Guidance from Your Angels, Angels Therapy, I was gifted this, but it doesn't have the cards, it's just got the book, so you can utilise that. Magical Mermaids, this was my first Oracle deck, I've said that before, was gifted these two by his cousin again who's passed over was gifted the message by angels by his um, cousin again Archangel Michael angel answers just recently bought this never knew it existed I loved it I used this card recently on a live it's beautiful Archangel Gabrielle indigo angels past lives now the cherub angels I had this sealed I recently opened I opened this this week and guess what? Because I thought I'm, my kids are never going to have freaking have kids. Um, guess what? Look how little the cards are. They're so little. Look, they're for kids. They're so cute. I wish I'd opened them up earlier. Um, and then I've got decks of cards. Now, eventually, that's how I would like to read. So, eventually. Okay, so that's where my collection is around the table now i have a few in the middle that i've stored let's show them but do you think my collection's changed i think it has now if you've watched this video to here put your name in the comments and i'll and the deck that you would like a card from because i've recently learned from youtube that i can pull you a card so do that so I'm pretty proud of myself of where my collections come. So when you when I go live, this is where I'm at. So this is a deck that I can't get rid of. I feel like it's very, very good to me. It's called the Sacred Codes deck. You probably won't see this ever for sale. I just found it once on a journey and it comes in a bag like that. So it's Sacred Codes. I've got a Psychic Medium deck by Reese Wynn Davis. This is to really help build, if you're a medium, help you build with your um, questioning, okay? Questioning spirits, so that's very helpful. I've got the John Holland and Lauren Rainbow. This is more of a learning teacher's aid for mediums. And then we've got these decks. These decks have come out to play in readings when I have been guided to do so. And then... And then I have in these two little pouches, I've got my right away tarot deck in one pouch. So this is what you would all know that it's the standard right away. And then in the other pouch, I've got the cheaper deck that I praise. And I got rid of the box because the booklet is exactly what's printed on the card. So that's very helpful for me. Now, what I've recently purchased, and you would have seen me go live, is the Green Witch Tarot. So that's what I'm working with. So I need to find a space or declutter more. And I recently got this delivered by somebody. This, These are both Llewellyn decks, and I'm really loving the books at the moment. So they're branching on they're helping me grow another extension of my readings now we have two Menomar decks now i 
don't know where I'm at with this. So they're just sitting there at the moment. But freaking hell, they're accurate. Oh my gosh, they are so freaking accurate. And then this was a book from my husband's cousin. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this either. So I'm going to have to read and look through it. It's a bit hard like the cards fall out. So I'd like to look through the book and just see what I can learn from the angels. But that's my collection now. So you see it's changed a lot. A lot of it's mass market. I got rid of all my Kickstarters, all my expensive decks, simply because I don't feel bad um, utilising them. And of course, obviously, I've got my own little deck as well, which let's pull a card for that. But don't forget, if you've lasted all this way, put your name in the comments and I'll put you a card from it. But let me know which deck. Go through the video and let me know which deck. Look at this, your message. Do what's right for you. Ask for help. So I hope that this video shows you off my collection in a way that I'm quite proud of now. It's getting there, but I would still love to half it. And it's hard sometimes to get rid of decks because you feel like, oh my God, you know, like someone might use it, then I want it. And that's not the way you should think. So until um, next time, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment where we will go live.